Hi friends, in this video I'm going to write a small Java program to check whether a string contains one lead digit. We are going to use Java 8 all match method to achieve this. The all match method is a short circuiting terminal operation where it checks all the elements in the stream whether it matches the given predicate. If all the elements matches the predicate then it will return true otherwise it will return false. Let's see the code now. I have written the class called string contains digits and the input word is love java and there are two methods. One is using the traditional for loop and then the other one is using the all match. In the first method we are going to take the word as input and then we are going to iterate character by character. We are going to use a method call is digit which is available in character class it's a static method the character that we passed if it's a digit it will return true else false so we're going to iterate character by character if it's a digit then it will continue the for loop otherwise it will print the statement and break immediately in the second method we're going to take this word and create characters and call all match method it's going to take the predicate or we can also call as lambda so this is a lambda this is the input character and we're calling again if it's digit or not what we are saying is like all character should be a digit this lambda can be converted into a method reference let's see in a short form we can use it as a method reference this will return true or false based on whether the past character is digit or not when i run this program i'm able to see these two outputs in the console so it says the given string does not contain any digits because it contains characters. Let's change this input to number. Now when I run this program, I'm able to see given strings contain only digits. So both the methods are working fine. To check whether a string contains only digit, please try to avoid using parseInt or parseLong method. It's not a good practice to use parseInt or parseLong and catching number format exception, adding the business logic in the catch block. It's not a good practice because the catch block is meant for to handle the real exceptions and not the business logic. Hope this information is useful. Thank you. Thank you.